Paul, Colonel John Winston Mugarura. I'm the new second in command, Mountain Division. Indeed, it's a great pleasure for me to be here today to preside over the closure of Intake 13 tactical course at Mountain Welfare Training School. On behalf of Commander Mountain Division and on my own behalf, I want to take this opportunity to congratulate you on successful completion of this course. Ongera. <laughs> Training in the military prepares troops to accomplish their critical wartime missions. The best training given to us in our traditional training schools like Kaweweta is not only intended to be an end to itself, but rather a stepping stone for soldiers to be launched into their military careers. But a force to be professional continues training and it is encouraged to enhance operational readiness. Like one of the greatest military strategists ever lived, San Tzu, says in his classic military science book, The Art of War, I quote, victory need not be gained on the battlefield, but rather it's gained from the side which it has made its preparations, end, co end of quote. So, it's therefore in line with this theory that for the last four months of your stay here at Mawats, you have been equipped with the necessary techniques and tactics employed in high attitudes in operation areas and has further gone to introduce to you how to use new equipment applicable in such operations. As you have demonstrated in your practical exercise this morning. Once again, on behalf of the commandant, commander, Mountain Division and the Third Division Administration, I want to take this opportunity to thank Commandant Mawat, CI, your staffs for the job well done. Your capabilities and continued efforts in providing the division troops with exceptional skills to gain experiences in fighting in mountain terrains is highly commendable. Join me in giving a loud of applause to both the commandant, the CI, and the staffs for the work well done. To the trainees, I do congratulate you having endured the pressures of the course amendest the resource constrained environment. I'm rightly informed by the commandant that you have been good students and you have exhibited good discipline during your stay here. This training you have completed here is among the civil courses that you undergo during your military careers. I ask you, when you report back to your units, respective units, continue to share and apply the knowledge and skills that you have had here at the Mountain Warfare Training School with your four, four, uh, fellow colleagues in order to serve Mountain Division in a more professional way. Lastly, but not least, I want to remind you of the invisible enemy that's around us. Wuyukoko Inambiri, Corona, Alafna HIV. That's the invisible enemy Ambao Enayish Nasisi. And it, it will be here for some time. For to you to be a professional soldier and have 
a good career, you must take care of yourself. There are a lot of things outside there. Wamama wana wasubiri. Mekapa kumaliza muda. But take necessary precautions. You must protect yourselves by following the SOPs and keeping yourselves safe in order to scale the heights as motto your mountain division. I do applaud you, everybody, who directly involved in making this course a success. It's my humble duty and honor to declare Intake 13 official record. Sir, before you are the trainees of Intake 13, 21, stop 22 of the mountain warfare take it Kokos and the staff of mountain warfare training school who are here to witness the passing out or the graduation of our mountain warfare taken Kokos intake 13. So this course will both close began on the 18th of October 2021 with a total of 460 trainees who were drawn from mountain division units and the special forces command specifically 206 brigade among us these are we had 16 officers and uh, two of them were recalled back for special tasks. So today I'll present to you, sir, 14 officers. We had uh, 11 ladies who are present today. So today I'm pleased to present to you, sir, 420 trainees who have gone through training for the last three or so months. Briefly, the objectives of this course are the course is meant to equip soldiers with the necessary techniques and tactics employed in the high altitude operations. We have already seen a demonstration in the mountain. This clearly brings out what we are talking about, high altitude. The environment of the mountain is totally different from what we know, we know as the infantry forces. Secondly, sir, we try to develop the physical capability of these soldiers to the level required for them to operate in this kind of environment. In addition to that, sir, we also try to acclimatize these troops to such conditions prevalent in mountainous regions so that they can meet the challenges and pressure associated with these operations. And lastly, we introduce and teach soldiers how to use the new equipment applicable in such operations, as you have already seen in the demonstration. So the whole package, sir, that we put forward to these trainees to achieve the objectives, we prepare the mountain, mountain techniques, we take them through tactics, communication, Skill at arms, as you have already seen the demonstration, sir. Political education, which is very paramount for the existence of UPDF. We do ma map using in the mountains, field craft, first aid or public health. We emphasize physical training because it's very paramount in the mountains. Military law 
because we want upright soldiers. And sir, to sum up the package, we do invite guest lecturers that put the icing on the cake. Amongst these, because we want to, pr to produce a well-packaged soldier who is not going to operate in the forest alone, so we prepare them a package for civil military. Of recent, we've had so many complaints of how soldiers are behaving in the public. So we take them through human rights. Because we want these soldiers to be politically upright, we do invite the chief political commissioner to take them through what he deems fit for them, who is also assisted by the division political commissioner and the director of political education, plus our school PC. Lastly, sir, we teach these soldiers patriotism. That's why we invite the director of patriotism. Father Musa, I would like to report to you that this lot on this plane, they were generally good with a few minor incidents that we handled administratively here. We emphasize discipline and whoever doesn't measure up is normally discontinued. To you, my colleagues, comrades, the graduates, first of all, I want to congratulate you for having persevered and gone through this kind of training. I'm sure the guest of honor has already seen what you have done and he has appreciated what you have gone through. So I would like to congratulate you for all the effort you have put in. Asante sana.